Hello students, you're instructing here John Mandela with another screencast, this one uh, using type tool to make columns. So uh, I just grab my type tool here and I'll just draw out a thing like this and then of course I can paste in some text. I'm going to get some dummy text and paste it in real quick. I like going to this lipsum.lipsum.com. I can go down here to generate lorem ipsum. And it'll create a whole bunch of dummy text for me. And I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of it. Copy that. Back in the Illustrator. And I'll simply just paste it in there. Of course, it's much more than I want. So I can do is grab my type tool again. I can draw it. Oops. Click off. Go my type tool, make another box or column, I should say. And what I can do now with this my direct selection tool, the white arrow, I can see that it has a little red plus sign. That means that there's more text than the text column allows. So I can just click on that, click on this to select the text box, then click the red plus sign and hover over the edge, I can see a little chain link will happen for my text boxes, and I click that, and it'll link the text. Let's zoom in and see what's going on there. So we see this blue line is not actually there. Don't worry, it won't print or show up in a web graphic or anything like that. This is just letting us know that it's threaded. So what that means, if I zoom back out, is if I decide, you know what, I don't need you know, this whole first half of this paragraph, I don't really need that. I select it, and I delete it, and you can see how it flows. So I can make threaded text. Now if I don't want the text threaded for whatever reason, click on this white arrow tool, and I'll just double click on this little node here where it connected, where it's threaded from this text column to this text column. You see now it goes back to here, this overset text, with the red plus sign allows us uh, to know, and then I can just click back in here, and I can do whatever. You know, I can just grab this text, and I can click in there, and do whatever text I want inside there. So you get the idea. Now, one thing you have to be concerned about: this is easy against a white, you know, nothing background. What if I have some colors in there? If I grab the text tool, and I click, what it might want to do is have me. Well, it didn't this time, but it might want me to. I might accidentally create text inside that box, so I don't want this either. So what I'll do, I'm going to just grab it, draw it out, I can just paste the text in there like that. If you do accidentally do something where you're like this, and you've clicked inside the box, and notice the box's color or the fill attribute goes away, then if I start typing, I'm in that box. If that happens, just simply click off, undo twice, and then what you can do always, let's say I wanted to head in here, something like that, I would just not make a text box, I would just click once, do some point text, I could say my headline, and I would uh, you know, make this much larger, let's say 36 point, and then just move it into there like this. Okay, so that's what I would do, you know, if I just have a really short piece of text, I wouldn't even bother with making a text box, I would just click, start typing, and make point text. As you can see, you have to be careful so you don't accidentally click in a shape, especially if it's selected already. So I like to often make my text on the side or art, you know, outside of the artboard and then drag it into where I need it to go. That's it. That's how you can make columns with your text. Goodbye.